Hey, it's Tim here with Food Insurance, and we're going to do another quick product test demo video. Uh, today, we're looking at the Sunjack Solar Charger. Now, we just got these in. I'm going to tell you right now, they are totally cool. They come in a 7 watt, 14 watt, and a 20 watt variation. We're going to be looking at the 14 watt today. And I've been told that uh, the unboxing videos are very popular on YouTube. So, we're going to start with an unboxing right now. So, you get your solar charger, it comes in a box like this. If we open it up. There you go. That is the Sunjack Solar Charger. It's nice, it's convenient, pretty small, uh, probably about the size of maybe an iPad. Okay? Open the Velcro up. You've got a nice little instruction sheet. And then it folds out, and depending on the variation you have, you know, if you have the 7 watt, I think it has a few less solar panels. The 20 watt um, either has this many or might have one more. But anyway, you have your solar panels right there. Okay? You can fold this back up. As you'll notice, there's loops on the sides of these, a couple different loops, and we'll take a look at those in just a minute. On the back, there is a nice uh, pouch with webbing around it, or netting, kind of a nylon netting. If you open that up, you'll see there are a couple of these uh, little carabiners. Okay, we'll show you how you use those in a second. Um, if you've got the 7 watt, there's a battery. It's going to be smaller than this. I believe it's 4,000 milliamps. This is an 8,000 milliamp battery. It also has a USB cable for charging. Um, if you get the 20 watt, it's going to have two of these 8,000 milliamp batteries. And then finally, you have two USB ports on this. The 20 watt's also going to have two USB ports. Uh, the 7 watt's going to have one USB port. Um, now, just so you're aware, these are designed to charge tablets, phones, some laptop, laptops, netbooks, pretty much anything that can be charged with a USB cable. Um, it doesn't come with any, you know, special USB cables for charging. So, you know, if you have an iPhone or an iPad or whatever, you will need to make sure that you have the proper connector cable to, to plug it into the solar charger. Okay, so in the previous clip that we filmed, I talked about how this comes with these little carabiners and how the sun jack has some loops on it. So what I want to show you is what these are for. I've got one of our food insurance two-week bug out bags here. Now if you take your sun, up, sun jack, you can actually open it up. You can take these loops with the carabiners, put it on them right here. Put one on the other side over here. And now when you go backpacking or hiking or whatever you're doing, there. You can actually leave your solar charger right on your backpack. So you can have it charging your GPS, or your phone, or your tablet, or whatever, uh, all day long as you're out, out in the wilderness. So now we're going to take it outside and we're going to look at it and use it in the sun and see what it can do. All right, so here we are out in nature or the parking strip by the parking lot of the Food Insurance Corporate Office. I've brought our sun jack out here and we're just going to toss it out here in the sun. So since this Sunjack model has two different USB ports on it, we can charge a couple of different remotes. Where's that truck go by? We can charge the battery and we can also charge the device. So the device we brought today, I have a Galaxy Tab Pro. This is the 8.4 inch version, so about the same size as an iPod mini, or an iPad mini. Um, and it is completely dead. If I plug it in the wall, I know it's going to take probably 3-4 minutes to respond. So we'll plug that one in in a second and see how it charges. I also brought an iPhone with us and I have an Android Nexus phone with us. So we have a couple different options here. And as I mentioned earlier, you need to have a USB cable specific for your device. So I brought one out here that we can use with the different devices. Um, it's also been, we've also read that some people have been successful in charging laptops with the Sun Jack, um, but that's going to be completely dependent on whether your laptop is able to be powered by USB. So I know uh, like the HP Chromebooks can be powered by, by USB. I know the new MacBook can be powered by USB. So that's really going to be dependent on what power source your device needs. So for starters, we'll start by charging the Sunjack battery. We'll simply plug that in. And you probably can't see the video. We'll get a close up in just a second. Uh, but the lights are blinking on and showing that the battery's charging right now off the solar. So now let's plug in the completely dead tablet and see what happens. By completely dead, I mean I'm holding the power button right now and nothing's happening. So. We'll plug it in and we'll give it just a minute. Yeah. Alright, so it took us less than three minutes and uh, you probably can't see in the camera, but the completely dead Samsung tablet uh, is starting up right now. 
So we've actually got the screen on, we can actually see it, we can actually use it, and it is being run completely off of the sun jack, just like you would plug into the wall using it. So that's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna pull that out now, we're gonna plug it into the iPhone just for the fun of it. Um, like I said, I've got kind of a, US, a universal charging cable here. We pick these up for pretty cheap. If you plug it in here, and if you were to come look at it right now, we'll probably get some, roll some close up of this, but the iPhone now shows that it's being charged. Just like you'd get it if you had it plugged into the wall or anything else. It's Tim um, at Food Insurance here. I am actually editing the video that you are watching, and I realized that I forgot to put some B-roll in um, of the tablet charging. So here the tablet is. It only had about 1% battery life uh, when we brought it back inside. So I took the SunJack battery and plugged it into that, and as you can see, now we're up to about 4% battery. So the tablet is running. It is fully functional. If it was on, <laughs> fully functional. Um, we can use it, and it's running exclusively right off of the... Uh, Sunjack battery. So pretty cool there. Yeah, and I'm having way too much fun with the Sunjack today. So I have it on the dashboard of my car right now. Um, it's charging the tablet we had earlier, which you can see down here. Um, and I've also got it charging the Sunjack battery. Uh, this is just another cool use, especially if you're using like a rental car uh, where they've disabled the uh, the cigarette lighter, the charger. So uh, you could take it with you on vacation, keep your tablet charged, keep your phone charged, use your GPS. Uh, so one more cool use with the Sunjack. All right, so in the previous segment that we filmed, I mentioned how there are nylon loops all over the sun jack and also how it came with carabiners. So I went and grabbed one of our uh, two-week buddy out bags and I'll show you what these are for. You can actually take your sun jack. Let's try that again. <laughs>